Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, saya Cik Fazli Bayu Sensei. Jangan lupa subscribe channel saya. Okey, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, welcome back to my class. Uh, my name is Cikgu Fazli Bayu Sensei. Okey, uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okey. Uh, so uh, this time uh, I will teach you about uh, bone, muscle, tendon, and joint. Okay. Uh, so during this PKP phase two, keep study and score A plus biology. Okay. Whatever happen at the outside, uh, keep calm, study biology and score in your coming SPM. Okay, uh, so this time I will cover uh, the part about bone, muscle, tendon, and joint. Okay, so okay before uh, I start the lesson, make sure, please make sure you download uh, the notes that I provide in the description of this video. Okay, the first uh, learning outcome is uh, to label the bones, the skeletal muscle, and tendons in a diagram of the arm. So to make sure you know which one is bone, which one is skeletal muscle, and which one is uh, tendons. Okay, second learning outcomes is to explain how movement is brought about in a limb. So example of the limb is we will use the movement of arms. Okay. What happened to the arms? Okay, what happened to what? Uh, how the movement is brought by strengthen and bending of our arm. Number three, okay, the third learning outcome is to state the function of cartilage and synovial fluid at joint. Okay, so there are three things you will learn in this uh, part. Next learning outcome is to explain how movement is brought about in a limbs. Okay, uh, so when uh, we want to bring about a movement in a limbs, it will involve a muscle. So this is the diagram of the muscle in our bodies. Um, so action on muscle is bringing about movement. Some muscle work together to bring about movement, while other muscle work in opposition to one another so this type of uh, opposition work we call it uh, antagonistic antagonistic muscle are the muscle which work in opposition for example uh, our bicep and tricep okay so this two muscle work in opposition so one muscle contract and another muscle will relax so muscle only can contract and relax. Okay, muscle can contract and relax. What is contract and relax? When contract, the muscle becomes shorter but thicker. Okay, and then when the muscle is relaxed, the muscle will become the original form but thinner. Uh, the character of muscle is muscle only can pull the bone but cannot push. Okay, because the muscle only can produce force when it contracts. So when it contracts, the muscle becomes shorter. So it will pull. But muscle cannot push the bone. So the muscle that can straighten a limbs when it contracts, we call it extensor. And then the muscle which contract and cause the limbs to bend, we call it flexor. Okay, so we uh, take example of bicep and tricep. So, bicep and tricep. Okay, bicep and tricep. Okay, so bicep and tricep. So, bicep, when it contracts, it will pull the radius and ulna. It will push, it will pull radius. So, it contract, cause our arm to bend. So, bicep 
is a flexor. Flex. Okay. So when tricep contract, it will pull ulna and make our arm straight. So tricep we call it as extend flexor muscle, extensor muscle. Okay, the term of flexor and extensor muscle only used when we don't know the name of the muscle. Okay, name the we uh, we don't know the correct name, uh, the right name of the muscle. So we can use the extensor and flexor. Flexor is the muscle when it contract, it will cause the limbs to bend, and then. Uh, extensor okay when it contracts it will cause the limb to straighten we call it as extensor look at this diagram okay a calf muscle okay our betis ah. okay both muscle uh, work antagonistic okay when the calf muscle and the back okay address so our feet will be flattened Okay, so when the calf muscle contract, it will cause our heel or feet to become flex. Okay, so if both calf muscle, okay, if calf muscle doesn't relax, it will causing a cramp. Okay, so when both muscle contract, so it will cause cramp because the muscle need to work in antagonist. One will contract, now the one will relax. Okay, if you have any question, you can write at the comment. Okay, and also don't forget to answer the quiz to test yourself. Okay, uh, I think that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and share my video to your friends. Okay, so. Uh, I can uh, make more videos for biology. Okay, all the best. Enjoy your PKP holidays, and thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.